Okay, everybody, welcome back to the Mystery Channel. Uh, we've just found out that we've got to find ourselves some uh, rustler fashion here. We've got to get a purple 10 gallon hat, a bandana, and a specialized belt buckle. So, we got to get moving. See how we can find out all this. Uh, let's see where we can find some of this stuff. <gasps> oh, no. All right, you hogfish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. <gasps> Not Mr. Big. Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. Hmm. Let's head on up this way. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's talk to that guy about a belt buckle. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said your calico's cousin and all, I do the job for free if you brought me the materials. Thank you, Nelson. That's very generous. Don't mention it. So what does it take? So all we need to make a belt buckle is that piece of metal with the round top and some kind of letter, right? That's correct. Okay. Well, that's all we need, then that's all we need. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. Hmm. Well, that definitely does seem a bit problematic. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks. Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. Hmm. So, uh, let's head this way. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. We're helping my cousin Calico. Her hogfish were taken by some rustlers. Rustlers, eh? Well, I wouldn't know about that. I've known a few wrestlers in my day, but no rustlers to speak of. Uh, look at the uh, look at the pattern on his uh, rucksack here. Say, is that a bandana you've got there? Sure is. Very handy. Although sometimes I wish I had something sturdier to carry my gear in. Hmm. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's Sahara Slim's special super stew. My own recipe. <sighs> oh. Not quite ready. Hmm. We'll have to keep an eye on them. Oh. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! Man, free wood, I tell you right, like, <laughs> considering the cost of lumber right now, this is, it's this is great. free wood. What do you ask for? You ask for a 7x7, seven seven, right? This should be useful. Dang, Freddy. How did you do that? That's my special secret. I don't want to know where Freddy just stuck that, and I don't, I don't want to know how Freddy just lifted uh, that. Keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. What is going on here? Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. Got my eye on you. Sahara Slim. 
Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Let's see if we can get that screwdriver. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. You never know when you're gonna need it. No, oh, Gil Barker. Oh, no. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddie Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great. Hmm. What we got here? Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. <laughs> Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. Now, we do have two purple sea urchins, and we can buy the gum, but I'm not going to buy it yet, because I don't know... I know we're going to need one of each. I just don't know what we're going to need for yet. This is... Oh, well, we got a wanted, a wanted tooth. Clipper. Wanted wrong tooth clipper by the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of coral biting. Dyslexic moment. <laughs> A rounded poster. Hello. What's this? This buoy looks a little tired. It's barely floating. Look, it's a suitcase. Ah! Phew! It's no use. It won't budge. Hmm. That's a really heavy anchor. Back to this. Hello. We made it! I knew we could do it! Oh, hello. Hey, Luther. What's round and purple and pokey? It! Is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh! I wasn't afraid. Sure thing, loser. Love me some purple sea urchins. All right. It's a crank handle. What's it doing here all by itself? Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah, I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. Let's mosey on out of here. I don't think we have to use this on this, but I'll just check. That's not gonna do me any good. Didn't think so. Didn't think so. I think this is open in some versions. Just like with all these games, there's like alternating paths and whatnot that you can take. 
We're up to three now. We need two more to buy one of each. We don't exactly know what we're going to need yet, so... Let's keep heading on. Let's check up this way. Oh, what do we got here? Hello? Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh no, it's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Are you E. Tippet? That's what it says on the mailbox, doesn't it? Now leave me be. I'm waiting for an important package. Hmm. Oh no, it's missing a handle on the lid. All right. Hmm. So we gotta find a handle. What's going on over here? Look at that poor guy spinning on the propeller. What? Whoa, Nelly! Whoa! Get me off here! Whoa, whoa! Don't worry. We'll get you off of there. I'd be much obliged. What the hell? Sea urchin. Look, Luther, another purple sea urchin. Boy, somebody's been leaving these all over the place. They sure have. Oh, Let's see here. Uh oh, here comes the kelp casserole. I think I heard something. That slowed it down a bit. Whoa, Nelly! Whoa! You! I think that did something. That sounds like it might have worked. There we go. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Hi! Well, pleased to meet you. I'm Sheriff Shrimp, the local lawman. I'd shake your fins, but as you can see, I'm a little tied up right now. Watch this, Freddy. I learned all about knots in the Fish Scouts. <laughs> Hey. Um. Sheriff Zachariah Shrimp is in your debt. If there's ever anything you need, why, you just ask. Well, as a matter of fact, there are some rustlers who... But I must be off. There's law breaking afoot somewhere. I can smell it. But... You there! No loitering! <clears throat> uh, Freddy! What? Oh! I'm sorry, Luther. Wow, that's amazing! I was in Fish Scouts, too. I was in Fish Scouts, too. <laughs> oh, that silly old shrimp. Let's pick up this here string. This could come in handy. Anything else we need? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't look like it. We can try and head up this way now. Oh, okay, some things are starting to come together. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just U? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, and... Um, 
No, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. <laughs> well, that sure is a name. Hey, you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. Now, I've watched... I, I, I know that as a kid, I spent a long time watching this. And he'd get this far, and then he'd remember the thing slip. And then he'd, like, go back, and it'd just start over again. How long has it been since your wagon broke down? A little over two years. It looks like you've gone about five feet since then. Yep, making pretty good time, pretty good time. Oh gosh, two years. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Do you just have that one delivery to make? Yep. After this one, it should be time for me to retire. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's head on back and buy, uh, buy a nut for this. Standard hex bolt or hex nut. Those are pickle fit locking wheel nuts. The finest wheel nuts ever made. They come in a variety of shapes, guaranteed to fit any wheel made after 1986. And if it doesn't fit, you can take advantage of our liberal exchange policy. Pickle fit nuts are all currently available at one low price. Just three purple sea urchins per nut. By the way, I should mention that the Biloxi Premium name is a guarantee of quality. These previously owned wheel nuts have all passed a rigorous 15-point inspection, so you can be sure they'll hold your wheel onto the axle even under the most extreme weather conditions. And there's still only three purple sea urchins per nut. We have four purple sea urchins. Here's a purple sea urchin for you. Thank you very much, young lady. Which of my two fine products are you interested in today? The delicious bubblegum or the very useful wheel nuts? We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous fickle fit wheel nut is all yours. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course! You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. We here at Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut believe that customer service is our primary business. This one looks good. All right. Thank you. No, thank you. Can we buy another wheel nut? We don't need another <laughs> wheel nut. <laughs> All right, so we've got a wheel nut, and we know we're going to have to go back and fix that wagon, and we're going to get to that on the next episode. So stay tuned. Bye-bye. <laughs>